Hi friends, so in this video, I am going to show you the difference between JIT stash pop and JIT stash apply. The command JIT stash, JIT stash is useful if you want to store, temporarily store your local changes and data you can take your local changes from that temporary location. Okay, in my JIT repo, you can see these are the files in this uh, repository. And let me show you the last two logs. These are the last two logs. Let me clear it. So I am going to edit this main.py. Then here I am going to add another variable b is equal to file. Then save this file. Then run git dev. You can see the difference here. Now I am going to this is my local change. Okay. So I don't want to commit this change. So I am going to store this change to a temporary location. So for that we can use this git stash command then save b so if you if you don't use this save b it will automatically assign some name for the temporary location where you are storing it so i want to name it so it will be clear so that is why i am using this save b but you, that is optional okay i stored it you can list the just run git stash list it will store it will show you the uh, location where you store it so let me make a, another change in main.py So let me add c is equal to file then save it run jtiff so i am going to save that change also in temporary location using git stash let me name it c after that if you run jtiff that change will not be there it has moved to the temporary location so if you run git stash list we can see now there is two changes in we have moved two changes to the temporary location so let me move one more open main.py i'm going to add a variable uh, d is equal to five then save it and move to stash with the D namely you can see the now we can see B C D there let me show one more without E is equal to 5 save it so in this time I am go not going to use the save option just run just just git stash now if you list you can see it automatically given some name here for that change okay so now we stored a lot of uh, changes to our temporary location using git stash now it's time to take it so there are two options. Uh, one is we can use jet stash pop. Then another one is jet stash apply. And let me check what is the difference. First, I am going to use jet stash pop. 
before that let me run cheat diff there is no local change right now so now i am going to run git stash pop okay done now if i run git diff oh now there is some local change it has taken some local some change from the temporary location and moved to the local let me check which one is took let's run git stash list so as per the JIT stash list the change which we pushed last the change we pushed last to the temporary location that has moved to the local repo when I executed this JIT stash pop so basically just stash pop remove your lock uh, your change from the temporary location and move that change to your repository so that is what jit stash pop is doing basically it remove from the temporary location then move so right now here you can see uh, only three changes are there in the temporal location next I am going to show you the JIT stash apply so in this stash apply you can specify so which uh, change you want to move to your repository from temporary location but in JIT stash pop you cannot specify it it always take the last change which you move to the temporary location but in git stash apply you can specify like suppose i want to move c you can just put c here execute it so it's saying it's not a valid reference okay so instead of c I am going to use this index this dash apply one okay there is some conflict because in main.py some change already there so I need to remove this Okay, done. Run git diff. There is no changes. Now run git uh, stash list. Then I am going to run this stash apply one. Done. Now if you run git diff, you can see that variable c is equal to 5 here. I restored this. But there is one difference git stash apply will not remove the change from your temporary location let me confirm it just run this stash list see see only cr is there it's not removed it's still there so that is a difference so that is a difference between this dash pop and this dash apply the pop will pop, pop the change from the temporary location then apply but apply will not uh, remove the change from the temporary location So I will I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel. Please like and share the video. So if you have any doubt, please comment.
so now our temporary location is empty I have taken out all the changes from the temporary location 